Welcome to this unboxing of the new Powertown Stan Hansen figure. I have to say I wanted to get all of these but I couldn't really afford them so I picked Stan because I've always wanted a Stan Hansen figure. I'm someone who likes to open up my figures, break the boxes, my figures are all a bit battered and they're used, they're toys really, but I think this line is the thing that's maybe making me change my mind. These are absolutely incredible, I mean this is the box here, I just the look of it Talk about a collectible to be kept in a box. I mean, there's the full line. Um, I would have liked to have got them all, particularly, particularly that Bruiser Brody figure. But I, I went for Stan because I've always wanted one. And it just looks great, doesn't it? I mean, look at the quality of it. There's his little window looking through. He's got one half of the PWF World Tag Team Championship as well. Another one of those belts comes with the Bruiser Brody figure. And you can open him up and look inside. And there's a nice little bio there inside. The door, some good pictures. There is a picture of Bruiser Brody there. And you get a look at the figure as well behind his window and all sorts of accessories in there. They are pretty pricey. You know, I couldn't justify buying them all. I wish I, wish I had now. But yeah, I mean, I'm almost tempted to keep it in his box, to be honest. It is such a beautiful looking package. And, you know, in terms of collectibles, in terms of if you're a, a mint in box collector, for example, this is right up your street. Right, let's open this thing up, though. This is about as gentle as I've ever been opening a box. So just pop that open and I will pull him out from here and let's take a look at him. Pretty substantial looking figure and some really, really great accessories as well. Um, I mean, Powertown sort of come from nowhere really, but I think, you know, they promised a lot. I've seen all the videos, all the pictures. I've seen other people getting their figures. I wasn't really prepared for this to look quite so good and to come with quite so many accessories, or at least for the accessories to look so good. It's just, I don't know, it seems to be on a different scale. Let's see what he feels like when we get him out. Just pop him out of the plastic. He's a pretty substantial figure. I mean, he feels pretty heavy to start with. And there he is, look at the detail. You can see his body's pretty sturdy. You know, pretty heavy, the joints are good. They're a little bit stiff, but I mean, they always are when you first get him out. Oh, hands popped off there, but he has got a spare hand, so I think that's supposed to happen. Let's pop his hand back on and get a good look at him. You can see his vest and his chaps as well. They are sort of rubbery plastic, but it almost looks like leather. So it's quite nice, actually, that. Some really good detail on them. You can see the joints. You can see he's got his... Uh, boots like Stan Hansen had. He's got elbow pad as well on his lariat arm. There's a bendable joint in the middle. Head moves. Well put together, really solid. And yeah, do we think it looks like him? It's obviously him, isn't it? It's quite pasty and pale, but I suppose, you know, Stan was kind of, what well, is kind of pasty and pale, isn't he? Certainly in his prime. I think it's really good. I'm, I'm a bit blown away with this, to be honest. It's better than I would have hoped for. Always wanted a Stan Hansen. I think it absolutely lives up to it. Let's take a look at some of these accessories as they fall out of the box. I suppose we should probably uh, start with his hand there, given the old uh, sign that he did as he threw his hand up in the air. So there's a spare hand for us. And then here's the belt. I'll try and just get this in focus for you. Really good detail on that. Really happy with that. And of course the Bruiser Brody one's got the other one. I don't think I'm going to be able to track down one of those. I have to see if I can find one on eBay, but I suspect they're going to be going for a pretty high price. Really good detail. I'm sort of surprised by it. I don't know why I am. I mean, you know, they were pretty expensive, but just, you know, the level of detail in here. There's his hat, and it is, it is rubber. It's quite solid. It's not um, cloth, but, you know, it's, it's just a plastic figure with a plastic hat. Nice bit of rope or string, I should say. Put it on the cowbell. I'm not going to tie it off, but there you go. It gives you his, his bull rope. And that's a great little accessory, that, isn't it? Couldn't have a Stan Hansen figure without one. Let's take a look at him now. I've, I've just changed over, done a quick edit and changed his hand over. You can see he's got his hand up in the air, got his hat on. That's easy to take his chaps and his coat off, actually. Um, you can see his joints perhaps a bit more easily. They are quite stiff joints, but again, it's quite a newish figure. It's quite difficult to keep him upright. He's quite top heavy. He's got a big body. But again, he, he looks like Stan Hansen, doesn't it? But they are quite heavy. The hands are quite small and the feet 
seem to be having a hard time keeping his weight up. But I mean, he looks in proportion for the, the man himself. So I don't know what to say. Alongside him here is an old um, Jack's Custom that I made just for scale. You can see the power towns are a little bit bigger than the old Jack's figures. I mean, it's night and day, isn't it, in comparison? I mean, that's partly because of my custom skills, but still. I think this is absolutely top notch. Really pleased with this figure. I'm just going to try and get him oh, lined up. And there we go. Back to back. We're in a new generation of wrestling figures, I think, here. And there is Stan Hansen. <laughs>